All right. Happy Wednesday, everyone, and welcome to another episode of What's the Tea? Thank you to all of my beautiful co-hosts for joining me this morning. How's everyone doing? Good morning. Lovely. Hi. Perfect. Good morning. Um, okay, Diana, tell us what our trivia question was last week and who the winner was. There was some steep competition, I heard. Who starred in Kingpin? And we were looking for a specific person. And I understand there were there was more than one answer, but the answer I was looking for was Woody Harrelson. So yeah. whoever said Woody Harrelson, April. Um, yes. So Hi. this week's winner is Julia Ramirez with Sherwin Williams. So we will congratulations, get your- Julia. Yay. Yay. Yes. And next week's trivia question is: What is the official cornhole distance? None of oh, y'all regulation. Cornhole <laughs> distance. I'm like, okay, you need to add like 30 feet onto that. Just kidding. <laughs> we have a surprise guest. I'm just going to go right into it since she's sitting here beside me. Yay. 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 Welcome back, Laura. <laughs> Tell us a little bit. How are you feeling? I feel great. Just had uh, the second knee replacement. So I've got you know, bionic knees now. Ew. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Should be all good in about six months. And then I can run and, you know, leave tall buildings in a single bound. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's awesome. She already did that. <laughs> yeah. For the oldies in the audience, we know that you already know what bionic, what she meant by that. That should be a trivia question. <laughs> Next week. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> So, all right, Laura, it's so good to have you back. We're so thankful to see your face. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, okay. ladies. Have fun. Thank you. We always do. Now we have <laughs> another Thanks. special guest with us. Uh, Miss Becky Mellon is here joining Hi. us. Uh, you're coming in from the Ambassadors for the Apartment Association to tell us a little bit. Yes. So we've had some people on site that have been asking questions about what the ambassadors do when they're visiting their communities each month. And we decided what's the tea is the best way to share that information with you. Yeah, love it. (laughs) So we have 17 ambassadors on our committee and they are an amazing group of members that volunteer each month to deliver valuable information from the apartment association. On our visits, you will see us include upcoming classes, announcements, housing updates, and exciting events, as well as updating any information from your communities and assisting you if there's anything you need. If you're needing any information or questions answered from the association, we're here for you. And we really yeah. hope that we're brightening, brightening your day by, by stopping by and visiting because you definitely brighten ours. Oh, yeah, you're right back at you. Yeah. Don't get it twisted, everybody. We're a family. The Apartment Association is a family. So yes. make sure that when the ambassadors come to your offices, that you are being warm and welcome and that you're being nice. <laughs> Chat with them a little bit. Um, you know, it's time for us to enjoy each other's company a little bit more. Let's be done with the with the coldness. Yes. All right. <laughs> so yeah. um, thank you so much, Becky. Uh, Diana, I think you've uh, got some experience being an ambassador too, right? I have been an an ambassador for about 10 years. Um, I've been with Blue Sky for eight. So as soon as I got into this crazy industry, I joined the ambassador committee. Uh, It was the smartest thing I ever did. I I always use D.D. Young as my example, but when I met (laughs) D.D., she was about this high and her hair was as tall as she was. And she was a a leasing consultant. I'm unclear about the height change. I, I totally unclear about that. That's <laughs> okay. all the hair. <laughs> and now she is a regional at Griffith's Blessing. So one thing that the, the ambassador should understand or that the supplier should understand, it's a great way to start your relationship with the management companies. And you should start at that person sitting at that front desk. Never, ever, ever ignore anyone. So we're always looking for ambassadors, people who come in and out of jobs. And it's great to, if you're new to the uh, AASC, and I believe we have quite a few new uh, supplier members, you really should get in touch with Becky or Maria Loria, Lorio Maria, who is from <laughs> ABC, and she is um, the chair of the ambassador committee, and Becky is the co-chair. So either one of those ladies will tell you what their their 
I think jobs, how it helped their jobs and, and what mm -hmm. they did and to grow their businesses. I know it sure did it for me. Anyway, I'm able to retire. What else can I say? <laughs> <laughs> had to put that in somewhere. Maybe that should be the trivia question. When does I, I retire? When does I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you both so much for your time serving in the ambassadorship committee. Uh, it's, it's huge. It's necessary. We thank you so, so much. Um, now we have a fun segment called what's, uh, no, nope, nope. We're on what's the tea. People on the move. That's what this next segment is called. Sorry. Um, and I know I have some really exciting, uh, stuff to share. Um, but I'd like to invite uh, anybody else who has some little fun, positive gossip to, to jump in. Anybody, anybody? I got nothing. Our positive gossip is Laura is back. So that's Laura's okay. back. <laughs> yeah. Which is major. Which exactly. is major. Let's not yeah. lie. <laughs> All right. Well, I have three little tidbits that I actually got from my, my sources who shall not be named. I'm just kidding. You're totally going to be named. <laughs> uh, okay. So we had some really fun input. Um, we've got some movement. Uh, it looks like I heard from Mayella over at I'm so sorry guys let me get this pulled up I like had it and then it left so bear with me here we go um so Mayela over at Overlook had some really fun news it looks like they have a team member over there uh Ronnie Ryan all right so Ronnie Ryan has been promoted to multi-site maintenance supervisor so he nice. he's now going to be over Overlook at Interquest and Aliso Briargate nice Ooh. yay congratulations <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Okay, and then we've got another bit of news from the North. Um, Samantha Hauser, who doesn't love Samantha Hauser? She's just a darling. We love her so much. Um, Samantha Hauser wrote, and uh, she has some news. In fact, they have hired two brand new employees at Vistas at Jackson Creek, which Samantha manages. Uh, nice. They're not only new to Vistas, they're completely new to the industry. So we have Eric Hadley, welcome. Yay, Yay. Joined the team Yay. welcome professional. Eric. <laughs> and then we have Andrew Rabideau, I hope I said that last name correctly, uh, who's joining the Vistas at Jackson Creek team as the service technician. So completely new to Vistas, completely new to the industry. Uh, Samantha is going to do an awesome job shaping and teaching you guys. You could not have asked for a better mentor, teacher, and leader. So yay, welcome to the industry, guys. Ooh, welcome. And congrats, Samantha. That's two big positions on the team that, that need to be filled. So yeah. Yay. <laughs> okay, my last one is a biggie. Uh, not that these other two are not uh, wonderful honorable mentions, but this last one I'm super excited about. So we have an amazing team member within Widener. Her name is Cheryl Geyer, and she is the leasing manager at the Retreat at Austin Bluffs, which if you don't know, is undergoing some renovations right now. They're gorgeous. They're beautiful. Um, give them a few months and then you should definitely go check them out. So uh, Cheryl Geyer has been at the Retreat she just celebrated her, um, I think, 15 year anniversary uh, at the retreat at Austin Bluffs. She's done an amazing job. And her daughter, um, her daughter has something really exciting to celebrate. So her daughter, Heidi, um, plays soccer and has just been, uh, sorry, she's just joined the team for the Switchbacks Special Olympics Unified Soccer Team. Oh, she wow. got on, she made it guys. Yeah, that's it's awesome. Huge. Yeah. So congratulations, Heidi. We're all super excited for you. Um, and if you guys want to see Heidi play, she's actually going to be playing with the unified team um, after the September 15th switchbacks game. We're all super excited. And uh, I think that's massive. Um, I think it's awesome. So yeah. congratulations, Cheryl. Congratulations, awesome. Heidi. We're super excited to see what you do. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. awesome. <laughs> yeah. All right. That was a fun blast. Um, yeah. Well, that's all I've got for people on the move. So uh, let's recap our trivia question this week. What is the official cornhole distance? Regulation distance. All right. I Beats, think I know it. Bags and brews, baby. That's yeah. right. <laughs> and if you haven't signed up for the event yet, when's the deadline? Um, well, we actually, we only have a couple more cornhole teams left. So if you want to be, we're calling it the best cornament in Colorado Springs, then make <laughs> sure and get signed up. So I think we only have four or five teams left, but there's also tickets to attend. So um, you can sign up. Well, it's August 25th is the event. But if you want to participate, get signed up today. All right. Hey. You're so corny. Uh, I know. Uh, the, the I was just jumping in. Okay. Love it. <laughs> <just leave> <laughs> 
All right. Thank you so much. Have a happy Wednesday, everybody. Thanks for joining us here on What's the Tea? Bye. Bye. <laughs>